Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to mod Pal World. Now, been really liking this game, but you know, I love mods. As always, I'm going to keep it very simple and very to the point. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comment section. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, drop a like. Right, let's get on with it. We're going to head over to Nexus Mods first. All the links in the description for everything you see. And we're going to pick this mod down here called More Technology Points. Now, this basically allows you to go via times two, times four, times eight, or you can half the normal gain if you like a lot of grind. The first thing you'll need to do for most mods on the platform is to download this. It's called UE4SS underscore X input dot zip. This is the website you will come to. It's on GitHub. Just go down here and this is the one you're downloading. It's the second one on the list. Once you've downloaded, you will need some sort of program to unzip it. I always use 7-Zip, but I guess you could use WinRAR or anything like that. I just like 7-Zip because it's a lot easier to use. If you open it up, you'll see here you've got mods folder and then a few other files. Now these need put into your Steam folder where Pal World is. The easiest way to find that is to go into your Steam account, find Pal World, right click, Go to manage and browse local files. Browse local files will take you directly to the PAL world directory where you've installed the game. So there's no messing around. Now, once you're in here, click on PAL, double click, double click on binaries, double click on Win64, and you'll be presented with this page here. You will not have that mods folder. This is why you've downloaded this program. And all you need to do if you're using 7-Zip, this is why I use it, highlight them all in here and just click and drag into this directory here. This will create the mod folder and also put these new files in. So now that you've copied that across, it will look something like this. Go into your mods folder and delete everything from in there apart from mods.txt. So just get rid of all these. Everything apart from mods text you do need that double click in mods text you can open up in notepad or notepad plus plus or whatever's easier for you and delete everything out of there as well and click save so now the next bit you might need to do you might not i was getting game crashes so you can just do it anyway i'm sure it's not going to make much difference go down to ue4 ss settings it should be about second on the bottom depending how you've got it organized double click on it Scroll down and it's one, two, three, four, five, six down. B use U object array cache equals yours will be set to true, set it to false. So all you do is highlight false or true in your case and type in the opposite. So type in false, just as easy as that. File and save. Now we're going to head back to Nexus mods. We're going to download just a random mod because you all kind of work the same. We'll go back to more technology points. We want times two. I'm going to click manual download. Slow download. That'll start in four, three, two, one, and that'll download the file for me. And then double click on it to open it up. Again, you'll open it via 7-zip or whatever your unzipping program is. And all you do is click and drag that into there. So now you'll have more technology points too and the mods folder. Double click on the mods. You should have a blank document. Go back to Nexus Mods. Go back to the mod page. So you can go to description along there. And what you need to do is copy this more technology point one. Basically, that one, one means on, zero means off. So as it says below, if you ever want to turn a mod off, all you got to do is put a zero at the end and it'll turn it off. It's pretty straightforward. Go in there. Go there. Click file, click save, and you are done. Just for example, I'll also show you another mod just to show you it works the same way. So just to show another example, this is the durability mod. And can you see there, you download that file and then just add that to your mods at the bottom. 
So now that that is all done, you can head into Steam and start playing the game with your new mods. Just remember, any comments or questions, leave them below, and I'll be back with more mod guides, I'm very sure, soon. Catch us all later. Goodbye.